guys, how's it going? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the benefits of comfort uh, with the Mitsubishi Mini Split technology. And you know, in a, in a traditional home, uh, I'm sure many of you are aware that uh, there is a lot of spots in the home where you know one room may be warmer or colder when the unit's running or whatever rooms are facing west uh, in the evenings typically are hotter than the rest of the house and you know we kind of we get used to that in our home and <clears throat> we just learn how to live around that and you know it doesn't have to be that way um, one thing uh, we have a lot in a traditional home is stratification so that's where the the unit conventional systems typically have just one speed off or on and so you have a thermostat on the wall and the thermostat uh, when it satisfies makes it to the temperature that you want it to it just shuts off and there's no more air being moved around the home and so at that point hot air starts to rise and cold air goes to the floor and so there's quite often times where you may be sitting there thinking, wow, it's kind of hot in here. And you look at the thermostat and just about that time it turns on. And that's stratification. And, uh, you know, with the, with the mini split technology, a lot of things change. One is the blower motor is constantly running. Really, really slow, but it's constantly running. And you have the option to change the speed of the blower motor but in auto mode it is constantly running at a slow speed and it's monitoring the temperature of the room and rather than having an outdoor unit that essentially turns off and on it actually just idles along so the load in the home whether it is heating or cooling the outdoor unit is sized right for every single day of the year, every situation that you could be in. You could bring some groceries in from the store and leave the front door open, take a couple trips outside, bring those groceries in. A few minutes later, the indoor unit will recognize that some heat has come into the building or some cold, and it's gonna ramp up a little bit as it needs to until the space gets closer to where you have it set at and then it's going to go back down to an item. And that's the benefit of having uh, an outdoor unit that is like a gas pedal on a car. Truly uh, has the capacity to go from very low to very high as opposed to just on or off. The other nice thing about the Mitsubishi product line is that it gives you the ability to turn on or turn off rooms within the home. So it's true zoning. Not just a zone like with a conventional system that takes care of you know this portion of the home. It's actually a zone per room. And each room has its own remote control. So now you have a home where you could have someone at 72, someone at 78, another room that's off or however you want to set that up as little as one zone can be calling or they can all be calling at the same time each room is going to fluctuate as we call variable capacity so in other words the indoor unit and the outdoor unit is in communication and if more cooling or heating needs to come to the room it will ramp up as same as in other rooms, but as that room gets closer to a set point, it's going to ramp down, and so will the others. And it could do this all day long throughout the home. As the sun goes over the home, and you have an east eastern face, and then you have your western face, you could literally have a little bit more required on the eastern side in the morning, and then more in the western side in the evening. You know, some rooms are going to have um, bigger windows or possibly less insulation. You know, we don't know what the construction of the home was whenever it was put together sometimes. We can't really see how it is. And, and so a traditional 
ducted system doesn't really give us that individual comfort control. And that is one of the areas where the Mitsubishi really shines.